Hello, I'm John Matz, and this is Benjamin. This is your mock? Yes. So this is a remote controlled tank. One of the challenges involved in building something like this is that it's not just a system mock, it's also a technic mock. Now there are two different types of challenges involved in building a system mock and a technic mock, but it, when you're putting the two together it requires a different set of techniques. You have to be able to build a strong technic chassis for a vehicle like this, and then you also have to figure out how to connect armor plating in this particular case. Right, so you have the cladding and then you have the chassis. Yes. And the chassis has the forces of motorization going through it. So you need to make it strong. Exactly, because it wouldn't be able to do any of this if it couldn't move. If it, if it bumped into something and it fell apart, that would be a bit of a disaster. Fortunately, in this case, the armor plating holds on pretty well in any case. So you built this specifically for Scouting for Bricks 2016? Yes, uh, it was one day before Scouting for Bricks and I realized I didn't really have anything new to build and I had to build something. I started working on this and about 13 hours later I ended up with a remote controlled vehicle. Not sure how I got there. Did you already have some part of it or some idea for how to do it before you got started? Yes, I actually had the suspension design already built on a different test vehicle and I decided to use it on this remote controlled tank instead. To a, to a non-technical person like myself, that sort of detail is very impressive. Thank you. I, it's an interesting color scheme you have because you have the white with the tan and uh, the sort of black treads and, and mechanical parts. Yes, I actually started out with a white belay and dark tan color scheme, but I spent 13 hours working on it and I decided it was starting to look a little dull, so I switched to white and bright tan. All right, makes sense to me. And uh, it has no turret, and it's it sort of gives it a futuristic vibe, because um, you expect a turret there. Yeah. Did what? Can, what was the reasoning behind that? Well, I'd been work. It, it was one in the morning when I'd gotten this far, and I was starting to get a little tired. And scouting for bricks was the next morning, so I decided to leave the turret for another day. Yeah, I've done similar things myself. That's very understandable. Well, it's a great mock. It's cool automation, and I like the chassis. Nice talking to you. You too. Thank you.